Now, our task is to find the uh, gradient. So, let me go for the best uh, gradient of the best fit line. So, M best is equal to, is equal to, so for it, this is uh, Y2 minus Y1. So, it should be equal to 780 minus uh, uh, 10 by X2 minus X1. So, it is 0 0.10 minus 0 0.004. But here, what we have is, uh, in the y axis, in the y axis, I have got m in grams, m in grams. So I have to change it to uh, si or kg because uh, it will remove all the tensions. So let me do it like this this into 10 to the power minus 3 because 1 gram equal to 10 to the power minus 3 kg. So this will be equal to, so if I use the uh, calculator, the value will be equal to. So it is a uh, 770. So 770 uh, exponent uh, minus 3 divided 0 0.1 minus 0 0.004. This will be equal to. It will, it will be equal to 8.020833. So I've used uh, around uh, five six uh, significant figures. So m worst will be equal to. It's x2 is. Uh, 730 minus it's again 10 here 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 so divide it divide it uh, 0 0.10 minus it is 0 0.002 so this will be equal to 730 minus 10 is uh, 7 uh, 20 actually 20 exponent minus 3 divided 0 0.1 minus 0 0.002 equal to so this is this is this is 7.346939 so the delta m which is the uncertainty that's equal to modulus of m best minus m worst that will be equal to 8.020833 minus 7.346939 so that's equal to that's equal to equal to equal to 8.020833 minus 7.34 uh, 6969 equal to it becomes 0 0.673894 now since i have to write the uncertainty in two significant figures maximum so it will be equal to equal to 0 0.67 so plus minus 0 0.67 now once i read 0 0.67 for this so uh, let me write the uh, best value here 8.020833 so error starts from the first figure after decimal so i can write it starts from here so it has to end here so it should be only 8.0 so the value should be 8.0 and the values are in si because i have already converted things into si so this is the graph and this is the other page which i must work on so this is the other page where i must work on further so 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 <coughs> now this uh, question says that uh, in question number C3, what it says is, says is, uh, using your answers to A. So A is in the first page. A is in the first page. So answer to A means this formula. So this formula says that the gradient is equal to is equal to four mu f square l square by g. Answer to this one. And then it says answer to C3. Answer to C3. So C3 is the value of the slope that we have done. So the value of a slope here is value of slope here is m best is equal to is equal to. Let me go through the previous page. M best is equal to this much. So it is 8.8.020833. So I have to use these values to find the value for mu. So uh, from here, what I can have is mu is equal to equal to mg divided 
divided 4f square l square l square so mu equal to m into g this goes here this goes down down and down so that means mu best equal to equal to m best into g divided 4 f best square l best square so all the best because here they are given a uh, uncertainty so this is the best value since it has got uncertainty this is the best value equal to m best is 8.020833 into 9.81 divided divided 4 into f best is 120 120 square into l best is 1.54 1.54 square so this will be equal to equal to so i'll have 8.020 0, uh, 833 into 9.81 equal to uh, divided 4 into 120 square into 1.54 square very close equal to so this has come to be come to be come to be it is so it has come to be come to be equal to 5.7600 into 10 to the power minus 4 kz per meter cube sorry kz per meter actually so it is uh, since ma it is mass per unit length the si unit should be equal to kg per meter so when i write uh, uh, 3 sf appropriate number of sf so 5.76 into 10 to the power minus 4 kg per meter